Welcome to another episode of Tag Team Recovery. Uh, unfortunately, it has been raining here for most of the morning, but uh, we're supposed to have a couple hour break today, and so Daniel and I are heading out. We'll go to a colonial home site and see if we can pull up a few things. Uh, hopefully, we can get some goodies found. Uh, got him sitting over here with me now. He's driving, and uh, so we're going to head on out, and hopefully, we get a good break in the weather today. And uh, it's not looking good, but there is a gap in the radar, so we're going to see what we can do. And hopefully we'll have something to show for you guys later. Alrighty, we'll see you out at the first hole. Well, one of my first signals I got since getting here is a uh, top to a lantern. Down probably about 8 inches or so. It didn't help. Nice little start. I uh, don't have quite as much rain going on right now, so hopefully we'll be able to get a few more targets and stuff in here. See you at the next hole. Yeah, well, my next hole here looks like I got a Indian head penny. Let me see if you see it right there. Doesn't look like it's gonna be an all one. It's real thin style. So it's probably right around late 1800s to early 1900s. But we will clean that up after we get out of the rain here a little bit and take a look at that. All righty, off to the next hole. You know, one of Daniel's first targets here. Nice little buckle right there. Uh, not sure how old that one is, but a good little start for him. All righty, off to the next hole. Hey guys, at the next hole here. I still got uh, a little bit of drizzling and stuff here, so not being able to film a whole lot of walking around and stuff. So, kind of sifting through good targets and stuff. But I just found a nice little uh, colonial buckle right there, if you can see that. But anyhow, wasn't that deep, just a couple of inches. But anyhow, there's a nice little buckle, and we'll get off to the next hole. All right, uh, this next target here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's a little ring. That's a colonial ring. Some people call them curtain rings, but they're also called door set rings. And they were used on women's clothing and children's clothing. And they would also, they would uh, wind threading or yarn all the way across and then stitch right in the center of that. And that would be their buttons. Pretty cool little fine. All right. Well... We had gotten a couple others out of here before, so um, it's a pretty cool deal, like I said. So we'll see if we can't get into something else. All righty, off to the next hole. Well, this next target here is a good little start. Part of a two-piece button, early colonial button. Low convex. You see where it was soldered on to the back of another button, probably a little blowhole button or something like that. We'll take that and we'll move off to the next hole. Next target, probably no more than about three feet away from my last hole, just popped up part of a broken shoe buckle. So hopefully they get some stuff out of here and maybe a cut coin or something. Cool. All right to the next hole now this is another nice early colonial piece right here I don't know if you can see that right there but that is a pewter button this is what they call a half round and you see the shanks broke off the back of it but it's a half round pewter button that's cool I kind of nicked it there with the shovel a little bit but we'll take that and we'll move off to the next hole I don't know if you guys can see that right there but if I'm not mistaken, I think that is a stamper for putting out the uh, pipes, tobacco pipes. It's got a little hole right there at the top, and I think that hung on the chain for them, and then they would stamp out the uh, tobacco pipes. That is cool, cool, cool. But I will double check on that when I get back to the house. Alrighty, off to the next hole. All right, guys. Well, we're wrapping it up here. Uh, got a little bit of hunting time in. Got a little wet, but uh, we found some good things and stuff. Didn't get uh, pictures of everything and video of it, 
but uh, we're gonna lay things out here in just a little bit and take a look at everything. We ended up with some cool stuff, and then uh, I think he, Daniel ended up finding a lock and a flat button. I got a few of them pewters and stuff like that, but we'll lay them all out, man. Uh, appreciate you guys watching and taking the time and checking out our videos and everything, and uh, we do appreciate it, and thanks a lot. Subscribe, check some more out, and I'll do a little roundup at the end of this thing. There we go, guys, this is our wrap-up. Here are a few things that we found before it got rained out. Um, the first target that I found out there was this top of this lantern. That was a pretty cool piece. Still got a couple of the clips on it from where it held the glass and stuff in. Um, not sure the age of it. Probably, you know, turn of the century. Maybe a little bit before. But cool little find. Uh, Daniel ended up with an iron padlock. He got himself a couple of buckles. Um, he got a large flat button and a smaller flat button. And this one's got some writing on the back of it, it says uh let's see it says best and got like a floral design on it and yeah, a pretty cool little find uh the two tomback material type buttons that i found found the one vest size and it looks like it may have had another piece on the back of it, it may have been like a blowhole type button uh then the half round button and the shank is broke off the back of that uh, let's see here got the and I'm assuming this is probably a knee buckle but nice little design and stuff on it uh, probably mid 1700s to late 1700s but that was a cool little find right there uh, got the broken piece of shoe buckle and then got what we call the dorset rings uh, cloth would have been sewn over top of this most likely for women or children but probably went on a coat or something like that. The cloth would have been over this and they would have stitched it right in the center and put it on their clothing. Uh, picked up on the way back to the truck, picked up the back to and probably a general service eagle button from the Civil War. Uh, got the shank right there that had fallen out of the back. Uh, also ended up with this cool Indian head. Let's see, it's 1908. This thing has got some fantastic detail on it and the back is in really good shape too and the last thing and i thought this was like a pipe tamper for uh the early colonial pipes and after i got home did a little bit of research and stuff on it this actually goes inside of a colonial bell and it's hung on the inside so when they shook the bell this is what actually hung on the inside of it so it was cool to do a little bit of research on that and find out what that was but anyhow, that was our finds for a little bit of time there. But uh, we'll definitely be getting back out and try to get some more time in out there. But again, we certainly appreciate you guys checking out our videos and watching them. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and definitely we'll be getting some more out soon. But anyhow, we will see you guys on the next one. Keep on digging and we'll see y'all soon.